We all wanted that break from the heat and we definitely got it. Thank you for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Marie Saavedra. Thankfully, these storms did not do widespread damage, but a viewer posted this video of fire in West Fort Worth that they believe was caused by lightning. The fire department confirmed that it did respond to at least one house on fire where a family was displaced. They are trying to confirm whether or not it was lightning as the cause. About 100,000 people lost power, which could mean trouble for students who are online learning tomorrow. If the power does not get restored, that is certainly a huge issue. About a dozen more districts start their virtual classes tomorrow. We do know that Texas Baptist men will be out helping clean up any damage. Jesse, the sky was so dark and it sounded like it just dumped over a huge part of North Texas tonight. It did. Uh, these summertime cold fronts don't like to come through quietly. I guess and not. Yeah, this one, no exception. So I want to show you some of these peak confirmed wind gusts that we saw across North Texas. I saw some unconfirmed up to 75, 80 miles per hour. So uh, this this really, these storms meant uh, serious business. DFW recorded a gust of 67 miles per hour. Arlington, 62. Dallas Love Field, 61. McKinney, 60 and Fort Worth 54 miles per hour. That's why we had those severe thunderstorm warnings and we were with you on Facebook Live all evening tracking the thunderstorms as they moved into North Texas. Right now, here's what we have, still widespread rain across the Dallas-Fort Worth area, but I can tell you now that the severe weather threat for North Texas has come to an end. So we're not expecting severe weather overnight. We will have rumbles of thunder. We will have some pockets of heavier rain. Otherwise, this is just much needed steady showers that are falling across the North Texas area right now. Uh, a loop of satellite and radar shows you what is the cold front that has pushed south of the Metroplex now, and it's leaving behind some rain cool there, number one, and much more pleasant temperatures tomorrow. 75 right now, DFW 73 in Wichita Falls. Take a look at Timecast for the rest of tonight. We'll continue to see those uh, showers widespread for the next several hours, and then another low chance of rain tomorrow, but the high temperatures, much, much better. We'll have the numbers coming up. Can't wait. Okay, thank you, Jesse. Per usual, a lot of you were pointing your cell phone cameras out the door tonight. If the thunder didn't catch your attention, the sound of the wind probably did. Alex Rozier shows us some of the videos that you captured. We started to receive pictures and video around 630. Kristen shot this outside McKinney as the summer storm moved in. By 640, Cassandra showed the wind picking up in Allen. And after a weekend filled with summer scorching sun, Around seven, viewers showed us how Mother Nature brought heavy rain and a little hail to North Texas. Kate Graves shot this video in Addison. And Bob's backyard in Plano had a little rain hit his pool. Sadly, the Sunday storm caused some problems too. A tree fell on a car near Fairview. Megan took a photo and circled parts of a roof that fell all over her apartment complex in Allen. Bruce showed us a downed tree in Arlington. And Darby and Parker told us about a toppled chicken coop that has had better Sundays. Depending on where you live, the size of the hail may have varied, but Shay showed us this shot in Point, Texas, about 70 miles northeast of Dallas. The sizzling summer weekend ended with a bang. With rain and hail stealing the show on Sunday. In Dallas, I'm Alex Rozier.